How do you use a fish tape? This is an electrical fish tape, and this is for pulling wire through conduit. And you can use it for other things, but mainly I use it for pulling wire through conduit. So you take and you reel this out by doing this. You reel it in by doing this. This is 125 foot and it's eighth inch. This is made by Greenlee, and this is a good brand. Check out the link in the description if you need a fish tape. This is the conduit that I'm gonna pull the wire through. And the reason I'm pulling wire is because I've gotta have PV wire for my solar panels to be hooked up. And I've gotta have uh, two wire uh, to wire up my controller for the Eco-Worthy Dual Access Solar Tracker. I'm ready to hook up the solar panel kit and the solar kit that I got from Signature Solar and I've got to pull that wire before I can hook it all up. You want to see that video? Stay tuned. I've got a lot of new video content coming. So, first step, we're going to feed the fish tape through the conduit. Come on. This is the two wire that'll come from the controller to the battery. And then I've got the 10 aug PV wire, two of them, red and black. And this will come from the solar panels of the other battery. I've got these all taped together. You want to tape them together so that whenever you tie this to the fish tape, uh, they're all together. So, but you'll tape this to the fish tape. Come on. All right, so we're gonna take this. We're gonna bring some wire out. And then we're gonna push it right here in the conduit. You may wanna get some gloves. Bring some more out, push it in the conduit. Look at that. Now, if you're trying to put, push wire through conduit, there's a couple things you can do. One of them is you can actually put some water in the conduit, or you can put some soapy water, or you can put some type of soap. And that's a good way to help you. As you can see, this is going in that conduit, and it's pretty easy to push that wire through the conduit. Oh, now, oh, getting a little bit harder, but it's still going through there pretty easily. Look at that. Let's see if it's coming out the other side yet. Let's go take a look. Oh, looks like it's not. I may need to take that conduit and have somebody hold it up straight. That way it's easier to push the fish tape through it. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, I can feel it though. Jace Lee, come here. Hold this conduit up. Don't put your eye in front of it. You get your eye poked out. Came through? Yeah. Let's go take a look, guys. Success. Look at that. It came through. Yes. All right, let's tie on the wires. All right, now take the end of your wire like this and then just tape the fish tape on to your wire like so. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Okay, get your own fish tape. Chickens around here. Roosters. They don't believe in privacy. All right, now I'm going to pull the fish tape wire through. And you want to make sure that whoever's guiding this wire makes this go smoothly inside. You don't want it to get caught on the edge. Got the wires rolled out so they don't get tangled up. Got somebody holding the conduit. I'm gonna go over here and keep pulling. We're gonna take it. See the wire going in? We're almost there. Oh. Please, don't break off. 
Are we good? Oh yeah, we're good. We are literally right there. Ooh, I'm running out of that silver wire. Oh, oh, it's through. Oh, it's through, it made it through. Wow. All right, so I need the silver wire to be longer. We just barely made that enough, so I might put a little junction box there, but. You'll notice that the end of the fish tape is a shaped like a U. You can take and cut this, you can reshape it the way you want to, and you can actually take and put your wire in between this, and then you can crimp it down to try to help to hold that wire. And that's something you can do. Um, there's different secrets of the trade. Electricians know best because electricians normally use fish tapes. Fish tapes can come in different sizes and different lengths. So check out uh, the various sizes online so you know what you need. And it looks like I need to pull my PV wire on through. I've got 100 foot of PV wire, but I only had 50 foot of this little communication cable. So I'm gonna pull the rest of that PV wire through and then I'll probably put a little junction box uh, to tie on to that uh, controller. Now I've got my wire rolled up, it's ready. I'm gonna be able to hook up my battery, inverter, distributor, charge controller. That way I can have some lights, some cameras, everything I need out here. Conduit attached to the pole and the wires rolled up and ready. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe, smash that bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing. And hopefully now you know what a fish tape is for and how to use it. Definitely check out the other videos that I've got down the link in the description to know how to move a shed, how to spray foam a shed. And if you wanna learn more about my solar system, then stay tuned. You've been watching Taddy Digest, I'm Tad, and I'll help you pull wire.